Maybe you realize your sunglasses are on upside down? So on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being you're completely sober and 10 being you're pass out puking drunk, where do you think you're at? Hillary, did you call 911? This incident takes place in Marysville, Ohio on August 5th, 2023. At around 5.30 p.m., Officer Connor Jones of the Marysville Police Department enters a drive through convenience store and notices the driver in front of him arguing with the store employee before driving off. Officer Jones puts his overhead lights on and pulls the vehicle over a few minutes down the road. Hey, ma'am. Hi. Officer Jones here. So the, the attendant at the uh, drive through was concerned about your well-being. He thought you might be impaired or under the influence of something. No, I don't understand. So. You don't understand what? Well, why? Have you told that? So. Man, you realize your sunglasses are on upside down? Really? Yeah, they're upside down. Okay. Look at me real fast. Okay. Have you consumed any sort of alcohol? No, I have been home at my son. Yeah. Okay, so no alcohol tonight? No. Okay. Any sort of narcotic? No. No? Do we do any sort of narcotics? No. No? Do you have your ID on you, ma'am? The driver, 40-year-old Hillary Hutchinson, rummages through an empty plastic bag, likely from the convenience store, for her ID. After that search turns up fruitless, Officer Jones has Hillary exit her vehicle for a series of field sobriety tests. I believe that you consume alcohol. Mm -hmm. Smell that. There's the odor of an alcoholic beverage coming from your person. All right. Mm -hmm. So, I want to have you go through these tests, all right? Mm -hmm. You follow the tip of my pen, it's it's my pen only with your eyes and your eyes only, all right? All right, so you put the trick we'll have one after Okay. I need you to look at my pen and my pen only. Follow with your eyes, all right? Don't move your head. In the police world, this is called a horizontal gaze nystagmus test. Officers will move around a pen, finger, or flashlight in order to detect twitching or jerking of the eyeball commonly seen in people under the influence of drugs or alcohol. After finishing that test up, Officer Jones attempts to conduct two more physical tests on Hillary. But a misunderstanding and an injury might get in the way. I, I, I can explain to you. There, there was odor of an alcoholic beverage coming from your person. Okay. You now, at the drive thru, I pulled up. He said, I believe she's intoxicated. You need to go check on her. Okay. I talked to you. I asked for your ID twice. You spent time digging around in a paper bag or correction plastic bag. When you were able to follow simple commands. Okay. I get that. Right? So that, that's why we're going through these tests to ensure that you're safe and okay that you can drive. Okay? Yeah, I literally live like two seconds away. So. Well, it doesn't matter if you live two seconds away or two miles away. My job is to keep everybody else and you safe. Mm -hmm. So, last night, do you think you'll be able to do this test or do your hip replacements prevent you from walking in a straight line? No, they're absolutely like, can't really prove that. You, what's going to prove that? I have hip replacements. Yeah, I, I get that. But will they prevent you from walking in a straight line? Probably, yeah. Okay. Would your hip replacements prevent you from standing on one foot for 30 seconds? Okay. I don't know. Can you come stay with her? Can I talk to you? As Officer Jones and responding Officer Casey Kidwell walk away from the suspect, Officer David Griswold, also on scene, tries to get a better understanding of the driver's state of mind. Ma'am, have you been drinking today? Not at all? Why do you have an alcoholic beverage on your seat, then? Let's backtrack for a moment. Before Officer Griswold approached Hillary, he inspected her car upon arrival. In the passenger seat, he spotted a container, a spiked punch with over 11% alcohol content. Um, I have drink, but that's it. Okay. So did you have like two of those today or three of them? Or how many of those today have you had? I had like two. You had two of those today? 
What time? Wait, I'm not gonna hide, so. No, you're fine. Uh, what time did you start drinking? Um, probably like 11 this morning. 11 this morning, okay. Do you know what time it is now? No. No? You had to guess what time you think it is. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. AM, PM? AM. Which one? AM. You think it's 11 o'clock AM? Yeah. Okay. What if I told you it was 5.30 PM? I've been with my mom, so I don't know. Gotcha, okay. All right. Um, so you, you said you started drinking those at what time? Like 11. Started drinking around 11? Yeah. Okay. So on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being you're completely sober and 10 being you're pass out puking drunk, where do you think you're at? Like an 11? So like 0 is you're sober and 10 is you're puking, pass out drunk. No, I've been home. So. Oh, I'm just saying, where do you, right now, where do you think you're at on that scale from 0 to 10? Like an 11? Okay. After Hillary rates herself a whopping 11 on the drunk scale, Officer Griswold attempts to test her knowledge of the alphabet. So I, where you live doesn't really affect whether or not you're, you're able to drive, right? Yeah, no, I get that. So is, is English your first language? Yes. Okay, but you come from the alphabet? So you, you know the alphabet pretty well? Yeah. Okay. So if I asked you to start with the letter F and end at the letter T, would you be able to do that? Okay, so um, without singing or anything, if you could start with the letter F and go all the way through the alphabet to the letter T for me. Can you do that for me? So start with the letter F. So skip the letter before that and just start with the letter F and go to the letter T. I guess I could do it. Okay. I don't understand why it's like a huge problem. Because we're, our concern is that you may be intoxicated. No, I get that. I get okay. that. Like, my dad was a police officer. So okay. I'm under, you know. So th th this is just another way that we can evaluate whether you're good to drive or not, okay? Right. No, I live literally around the Gotcha, okay. Yeah. So are you, are you willing to do the, the alphabet thing for me? Yep. So start with the letter F and end at the letter T. Okay, so... F... Yeah, so if you can start with the letter F and go to the letter T in the alphabet. Yeah, Okay. Nailed it. Now on to numbers. All right, so are you pretty good with numbers and counting? Yeah. Okay. So if I ask you to start with the number 72 and count backwards to the number 51, would you be able to do that? So count backwards from 72 to 51. Yes. Could you try that for me? Yeah, you, you know, U -R -S -T -I -V. So you're, you're doing letters, I'm asking for numbers. What so start at 72 the number 72, and count backwards to the number 51. Can you try that for me? Yeah, Could you try it? So, say 72. Can you say it? Yeah. Can you say 72? 72. Good. So, can we count backwards from that to 51? Probably not. Probably not. You willing to give it a try? No. Let's switch over to the body camera of Officer Casey Kidwell. At this point, she just finished performing a second eye test on Hillary and gives her one more chance to redeem herself. All right, next one, what I want you to do, same stay in the same position, okay? And what I want you to do is you're gonna lean your head back when I tell you to begin. All right, you're gonna lean your head back, close your eyes. And what I want you to do is count to 30. All right, what you think is 30 seconds. Okay, so however you get the 30 seconds, doesn't matter how, when you think 30 seconds has passed, I want you to look at me and say, stop. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and begin. So just like I instructed, all right? So when I tell you to begin, you're gonna tip, tilt your head back, close your eyes, all right? 
And when you think 30 seconds has passed, you're going to look at me and say, stop. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. You may begin when you're ready. Do you know what I instructed you? Yeah. What did I instruct you? To stay soft. Okay. Right, that's not what I said. What, what I said was... Use stop when I think I'm okay. So. Okay, that's, that's not what I said. I said when I say begin, tilt your head back, close your eyes, and when you think 30 seconds has passed, you tell me to stop. Can you tell me those instructions instructions again? What did I just tell you? Tell you when you stop. Okay. What do you do before that? Stop. Okay. After Hillary fails every field sobriety test, Officer Kidwell gives Officer Jones the cue to arrest her. All right, ma'am, I can turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest for operating a motor vehicle under the influence of other drugs or alcohol, I'm not sure. Yeah, little itty bitty wrist. Officer Jones proceeds to handcuff Hillary and load her into the back of his squad car. Officer Jones then walks back over to Officer Griswold as he conducts an in-depth search of Hillary's vehicle. Despite looking for her phone and ID, here's what the officers found instead. Is there even a phone in here? She grabbed the TV remotes before she left the house. Her mouth is blue. Well, it's probably these things. She told me she had two of those and that she thought it was, she started drinking at 11 and she thought it was 11 right now. She thinks she's 23, she's too. off by six and a half hours. Who called it in? Who? I was at the, the drive-thru getting a can the of The Buckeye drive-thru? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, kid, well, um, if you want to get urine in addition to the breath, because I don't know if the breath is going to show, but I think it's more than alcohol. I think so, too. Do, do breath and urine just to get it. Yep. The officers head back to the station with Hillary and waste no time conducting a breathalyzer test. As the test processed, Hillary was placed in a holding cell and Officer Griswold gave her the shocking results. So Hillary, the, the legal limit is 0 0.08, okay? You blew a 0 0.34. Okay, that, that's, that's more than four times more intoxicated than you can be legally driving, okay? I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm surprised you're still here. <laughs> Right. Hillary was picked up from the station by family members and driven home. But later that night, Officer Jones and Officer Griswold respond to her home after she calls 911 over what happened just a few hours ago. I don't want to be like this person. Mm -hmm. like, well, the, the first step is admitting that there's an issue, right? So and if, if we're at that point, that's, that's a good step. That's a good first step. Have you seen the movie What About Bob? Yeah. Yeah, so baby steps, okay? That's so what we need to take is baby steps. So the first baby step is going to bed and trying to sleep it off. Second baby step is contacting Lighthouse on, on Monday, okay? Okay. All right. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. All right. Well, best yeah. of luck. Call us if you need anything, okay? Do you need help getting your pups in the house? No. All right. They're going to be out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll All right. get out quick so don't want to <laughs> Yeah, I wish you luck, ma'am. Take care. Hillary Hutchinson pleaded guilty to a charge of operating a vehicle while impaired. Aside from fines, a judge ordered her to spend three days in jail and three days on house arrest, in addition to completing a driver's intervention program, a drug and alcohol evaluation, and substance abuse counseling for three years.